Yo guys, welcome back to a new video on my channel. My name is Dan from Crypto Rover and thank you once again for tuning in to this amazing video, guys. So today we are making a special video here with uh, Jane Murkonski. Uh, we are making this special video about uh, the coin that recently got launched here, Wall Street Bets here. Um, it got launched on PancakeSwap. We made a video earlier today about it as well here and a lot of people were saying it's a scam project. Uh, I just bought into it because I think it's funny. Uh, I, I thought it's a good coin. Uh, I bought it with my Dogecoin. Profits, of course, so uh, a lot of people are saying it's a scam, so I do think it's very important to see what this project is really all about, and that's the reason why we are also having this interview. So guys, without further ado, let's go right away into the questions that we are having here. So um, yeah, of course, like I told you before, I just made a video. A lot of people in the community, because I'm here, of course, to um, I'm telling this purely out of my community, because I think it's very important to um, yeah, of course, yeah, re represent my uh, community here. But yeah, what is going on with... Um, with the coin, what's your bets? All, everything is going on here. Is it a scam? Is it not? Can you please explain me what is uh, all about it? So first off, thanks for having me on. It's a pleasure to, to be here to talk about this. Second of all, you're now going to have haters on two sides of this thing because the the, the people on this uh, Wall Street Bets uh, coin community, they were taking issue with you calling this thing a meme coin. <laughs> oh. uh, it's it's so much more than that, that, uh, that, that the, it doesn't do it justice. But nevertheless, uh, happy to be here. Um, so the Wall Street Bets coin is uh, not a scam by any means. I I am working with the some of the top uh, leaders in the crypto world with a very uh, impressive track record and very uh, successful endeavors that they've taken on. And I have full faith and confidence with them. But I myself, a person that's not all that into the crypto world, at least I've never really publicly talked much about it. This particular project gained my attention because it's not just a coin, right? It's not just, let alone Dogecoin being itself a meme coin. There's lots of uh, legitimate coins out there. This this is a, a DAO, a decentralized organization, right? It's going to take the form of an app, which as far as I'm concerned, is going to revolutionize the world of finance that I am very familiar with, right? These, these are going to be stocks that trade on the, the stock exchanges and different instruments that are uh, around the world traded. The, the, the vision behind this uh, token is to create a community that uh, is able to create these exchange traded products. And I apologize if it's technical, but basically these baskets of investments that they can then purchase uh, based off of what the, the the members and the owners of these tokens can decide on, and then and these tokens, these ETPs, are uh, collateralized asset backed tokens. What does this mean? It means if they want to create an investment where they put in a little bit of Bitcoin and a little bit of Tesla uh, and a little bit of gold, right? Like just asset classes that shouldn't belong in the same thing, they can do that now, and they can decide on the weighting, and then they can purchase this ETP. And behind the scenes. The stocks are being purchased and the ETFs related to the gold are being purchased, all these different things so that they're actually uh, uh, backed by this collateral. And so to me, that's a groundbreaking, fundamentally uh, uh, innovative concept, so much so that I got excited enough to come on board. And, and so much so, and it's such not a scam, that I'm willing to put my face and reputation on this. I can't say the same thing about any of the critics that are out there. Um, and my reputation at this point is is really where uh, my net worth comes from, right? And I am unafraid of uh, uh, of doing this and being a part of this and quite the opposite. I'm super excited about this because this is going to change the world of finance as we know it. Okay, so uh, for me as an outstander of the, of the project, uh, I'm not familiar with it, I read all kinds of things and I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to believe because if I go to the Reddit page, I see people are saying there that this, the highest subreddit is saying that Wall Street bets to crypto is a scam. Uh, can you explain it? How, how can that be so? <laughs> to me, it's it's a really interesting question, right? Like it's at the end of the day, the the moderators that are in charge of uh, of that subreddit right now, they're out to get me, and it's. It's a little pathetic to some extent, right? But it's it's really simple to to see if you, I can get into the details if you guys want. But on a high level, here you have a community with 10 million users that is very dedicated to talking about stocks on the stock exchange, which very openly uh, doesn't want to talk about crypto. They are pinning a message on the top, right? Dedicating an entire very valuable spot on the page towards crypto, something they shouldn't be talking about then. And, 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 and really they're uh, targeting that towards me. And why can I say that? 
It's because there are tons of uh, scam crypto coins out there and they don't want to mention those. And if you say, well, it's because it's called Wall Street Bets, there's dozens of Wall Street Bets coins as well. And they're not going after those as well. Half of that posts are personal attacks on me. Uh, so if, if people can't read between the lines that these guys are simply just trying to, to, to come after me, then uh, it should be clear by just reading between those lines. And can I ask you, why are they coming after you? Uh, you can. <laughs> I could get into it. I'm, I'll, I'll touch on this, right? So there's a, there's a long history behind there. Um, I was removed last year uh, as a moderator from there. There was a lot of things that went down. They, uh, I, I'm not allowed to publicly talk about a lot of these details because the details are so good and they're so juicy and they're so true that, uh, <laughs> that one, I know they're not going to show their face ever. I'm the only person that's ever been on TV. Uh, representing a community that I'm no longer moderating. And that's for a good reason. And I know that they're not going to show their face because they know that I know the truth. I've sold the rights to that truth to a movie studio. And they paid me very handsomely for that because the story is that good. But uh, but what I can't point to is they said, look, I started, I wrote a book and I tried to sell it on the subreddit and that was kind of selling it out. But I wrote a book. And if I wanted to be a sellout, I wouldn't write a book. I would sell t-shirts the way they are uh, and profiting from it. And the second thing is I created this uh, uh, esports style trading competition that I that I put together last year. Uh, unfortunately, coronavirus put a hard stop to that. Uh, but this is this is a, a, a f another groundbreaking idea that I have, which I'm still going to do, by the way. I'm in talks with all the biggest names you could possibly imagine to pull through. This is going to be kind of a cool idea where people trade actual stocks on the stock exchange to see who the best trader is like the. World Series of Poker or the Ultimate Fighting Championship. So they say that those two things are, are scams, but it just doesn't add up. Okay. And so a, a quick question. Who's, who's the real owner of the Wall Street Bitcoin? Is that you? Or no, no, no. Uh, th there's a handful of people out there. I think the, the most visible is uh, a guy that goes by the name BTC Vix. But there's a whole team of people. I don't, by any stretch of the imagination, own... Uh, this coin. I was invited very late stage in the game to try and be a part of this because I am so passionate about the world of finance, uh, you know, the mainstream finance that you find on Wall Street, that they felt that this would be a really good opportunity, a strategic place where I can advise them. So they brought me on as an advisor uh, to help uh, with a bigger vision of what they're wanting to do. This coin right now, by the way, which launched or this token is launched yesterday, Right now, it's nothing other than a token that's in the process of being born. And I'm new to this, so I don't even know the terms properly. But the real exciting stuff is going to take place when they turn this into this uh, uh, decentralized application, when people can actually create these exchange traded products. That's when you're going to see me very excited and very much pushing uh, the, the, the idea behind this. But no, I do not own it. Okay. Now, t thank you so much for your time. Um, I think it's clear for the community right now. So we, we build our, our own vision on it. And thank you for, of course, also telling your story. And for I don't know if moderators from Reddit are seeing it and they want to tell me their side of the story because there are always two sides of a story. Um, yeah, I'm, of course, open on it. So you can always email or, uh, or text me on the Discord. But thank you so much for watching, guys. And uh, thank you also for your time. And if, uh, if, if, if one of the moderators emails you and says they want to come on the show, please invite me back. I'd love to talk to them. Okay, we will. Thank you so much for your time. Great. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Bye.